Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. Today, I'm joined by Mary and Lucas. We're in Sitka, Alaska. Justin and I just got back from a trip on the Equinox and we caught a ton of salmon. Well, Justin caught a ton of salmon. <laughs> We're gonna cook some up today with Mary and Lucas. So I'm Mary. I'm Lucas. And uh, together with our family, our son Riker and our mother-in-law Kathy and our sister Samantha, we run a blog called Forest Fresh Alaska. Um, Lucas and I both uh, come up with the ideas mm -hmm. for the recipes together yeah. and um, we kind of cook them together. So yeah, mm -hmm. thanks for letting us join you today. This is yeah, exciting. Thanks for having me. Justin and I are actually kind of like crashing their family reunion. <laughs> More than welcome. Yeah. <laughs> now you're family. You. No. <laughs> Thank you. I also brought uh, pink salmon, chum salmon, and king salmon. And I've been curious to see what people think about uh, those the, the, especially the pink and the chum salmon because a lot of the times here in Alaska uh, people tend to either use pink salmon as bait or just dog food like you were mentioning right yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah a lot of the time uh, especially locals just like to high grade their salmon <laughs> yeah yeah so we want to do a little blind taste test today and we'll have them taste this all do a taste test and whoever else wants to join us in, join in on it just by pure taste, flavor, texture. Yeah, All I'm right. excited. Let's get started. All right, All we're right. gonna start start the grill and we're gonna cook some salmon. Yeah. All right, that's- Sounds good. Yeah. The beach asparagus we can saute up just as a side if you guys want with a little yeah. bit of garlic, mm -hmm. a little salt and pepper or- Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. So we've cubed up the salmon and now we're gonna put them on skewers and uh, we'll put the beach asparagus pesto on them and we'll throw them on the grill. So what we have here is some salmon, obviously, but can you tell the difference between the three? I mean, two of them are the same. These two are the same, and then this one is a different fish. And you can probably see that this one here has a lot more fat. It's a lot bigger as well. And it's just these white lines here, that's all of the fat from the salmon. And you can see with this one, it's a much smaller fish, and this is a pink salmon, much leaner, not as fatty, uh, slightly different color as well. This king salmon t um, is more of a peachy color, but they can vary from a more a brighter red to even white. There's white kings here. And I also have some chum salmon. Um, I have to let that defrost a little bit more. We'll throw these on the grill, and all we're doing is putting some salt on them, throwing them on the grill, cooking them, and we'll do a taste test. So I think it's a really good control to have because we caught these on the same same day and they were processed the same day, packaged, sealed the same day. And um, the only advantage for the king salmon, we have the belly piece, which is a lot fattier than you know the tail piece of the pink salmon um, or even this belly piece of this pink. It's it's you can see it's not very fatty at all. So I'm secretly hoping that people are gonna say, when they do the blind taste test, that they're gonna say that pink salmon's their favorite or the chum salmon is their favorite uh, because these two fish, these two salmon, uh, tend to be the trash fish of the, in the salmon category here in Alaska. So. We're trying to maybe prove people wrong that they're not trash fish, um, but this this king salmon in particular is big and fatty, so it's going to be hard to compete against that. Lucas has got the salmon skewers ready. They look delicious. Oh man, this one looks good. This one's calling my name. Mm. 
great char. Perfect char on him. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Perfectly cooked. That's the part you want Tender. To mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Yeah, I love the... I love the pesto on there. Sea asparagus pesto. Yeah. The king, the chum, and the pink salmon is ready for tasting. We're gonna start inviting people up here. Just, you know, they're just gonna take a little spoonful or a fork and um, taste it. One, two, three, and <clears throat> we'll, we'll ask them which one is best. I think, like I've been tasting it already, so I think it'll be, it wouldn't be fair if I did it. Um, Cause I've just been, you know, I just taste as, as I cook. It's just, just a habit that I have. But so I kind of know, already know what they all taste like. Uh, I can tell you that the king salmon is super fatty and it's really not fair because it was like a big, like 15, 16 pound salmon with a lot of fat on it. So, so we have, we're gonna do one, number one, pink salmon. Number two, king salmon, Chinook. Number three, chum salmon, pink, King Chum. There we go. That's one. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I would eat that. Day in, day out. That's delicious. How's it taste? Not bad. Mm. Yeah. Pretty good. That's kind of good flavor. Good. You like that? It's great. It's awesome. Okay. Cool. Okay. <laughs> It's good. Yeah. Number two. Mmm. That is so good. Mm. So perfectly moist, cooked, melt in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> Pretty good too. Mmm. Mm. That one's got a little smoky taste to it. Oh, that one does. That yeah. one's good. That one's really good. good. Yeah. Yep. Nice and tender. Okay. Ooh. I like that one more. You like that one more? Number two more? So far I like that one better. You like that one better? Okay. <laughs> Great. It's good as well. I like number one better. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Probably my least favorite. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Number three. Okay. Pretty good. Those are all really good. Oh, okay. I like that one the most. You like that one the most? Yeah. Number three the most. Nice. <laughs> I like that one. You like this one the best? The yeah. The number three the most. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Mm. Which one was your favorite? Two. Number two. Number two. Number two is your number favorite. Two. And which one is your second favorite? Number three. Number three? Yep. Okay. Two and three was awesome. Okay. Great. Yeah. Okay, definitely number two was the best. Yeah? Okay. It was nice and oily and buttery and just like melt mm -hmm. in your mouth. Oh, yeah. So it's hard to tell because number three, mm -hmm. there's so much less flavor. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I okay. think so. And one I thought was good, so. I like the king the most just because the, you know, the butter in it buttery you know the yeah, fat in it fatty. but yeah. I'm actually really surprised I, I thought they were all delicious yeah you know Thanks. yeah and I definitely don't eat enough uh, pink and chum my favorite one is the first the first one I would say like the second one the best second one the best okay. a little just like softer and softer. buttery I think in the flavor of the fish I really liked just the texture and the flavor of that one. So oh, yeah. I'm kind of torn between these two. <laughs> really? Okay, no, number two and number three. Number two and number three, yes. Okay. I really like those both. <laughs> I think it's a silver salmon, but I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not so. <laughs> yeah, that's actually both wrong. This is a chum salmon. Really? The ones that have been jumping up everywhere? Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, they're shoot. Up, right? That was great. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Thank you. That was great. 
I lo love it. Love that reaction. <laughs> Thank you. King salmon is number two. Number three is chum. Really? Yeah. And the uh, wow. number one was pink. <laughs> 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 You're laughing because you probably don't eat too much chum and pink. Um, I've never Dude. had chum before. Oh, really? Yeah. Really. It's really, chum was good. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. You liked it? Yeah, yeah, I did. Awesome. Yep. All right. Good, good to know. <laughs> See, this is a man coming from a man that eats a lot of salmon from Alaska. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for You're joining. Awesome. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. I like the chum salmon the most. Nice. Yeah. Right on. Right on. I don't like that one too much. You don't like the pink one too much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> number one. You like number three the most? I think so. Oh, yeah? It's a tie between those two. Oh, tie between these mm -hmm. two. Wow. So you like this one the most, mm -hmm. this one the second, yep. and that one the least? Yeah. Oh, cool. Whoa. <laughs> so you, you like, this is chum salmon, though. Okay. That's the one you like most. Yep. So the second one's pink salmon. Okay. And, and the king, king the least. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Interesting because... This had more flavor. Okay. Yeah, nice. So far, just as I imagined, this huge king salmon fatty is just, it's just winning everybody's hearts. But um, the consensus is that they're all pretty good. <laughs> Jocelyn said it's interesting that the Alaskans always like the king more. Like they've had a lot of salmon, they have that, they've tasted king salmon a lot of times. But the non-Alaskan that haven't had king that had that haven't had too much salmon really like these two. Really like the chum especially. That's what we're getting here. People like the chum, which is cool. Which is very cool. Interesting. Hi Clover. Can we do a taste test with you? Here's number one. What do you think? Good? Another one? What do you think? Oh, that was the king. He likes them all. He does not discriminate. <laughs> Thank you, Clover. All right, you look a little wet. Would you like more salmon? You had enough. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take some pieces now. This is a chum. Man. Mm. Chum's got great texture, got great flavor. That is delicious. And the king, of course. It's just. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, it's almost too fatty. It's like ultra. That's so fatty. And the texture on the pink is a bit, um, a little bit drier. Uh, I guess it's um, much leaner, so it just dries out much quicker. Uh, but flavor is not not too bad it's it's pretty, it's good but i'm gonna say my favorite is also chum salmon dang that's good so all of the people that um have been throwing chum salmon back or considering them as the trash fish of salmon um, it's a lot of people's favorites and i think out of these three i'm gonna go with that one too i actually prefer leaner fish um, and like with the king salmon, I feel like you can't eat that much of it because it's just so rich. Chum salmon, just keep going to town on it and it's great. Well, anyways, that concludes this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this little taste test. Well, thank you for watching. If you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Okay, Jocelyn's gonna taste test. Open. Yum. Number two is number three. Mm. Which ones do you like? They all taste like salmon. Yeah. They all taste like salmon to you. <laughs> if it was raw, maybe I'd be able to tell the difference. Mm -hmm. I mean, the first one seemed like a king. Seemed like a king. Why? Oily. Oily. Yeah. And then the second one. I feel like the second and third were very similar, but maybe the third, I think, was the chum. Okay. Which one did you like the most? The first one. Number one. Yeah. And then, and then? I like both of the last oh, two. Overall? 
They're all good? Yeah, I think they're all good. It's just like one was more oily, oily. and the other two are more firm. Significant more oily. Yeah. yeah. But they're I think all good. Sure. All right. Yep, you're right. First one was king salmon, and it was pink, and it was chum. Mm.